Hello. Hi. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hello. My name is Naka Gubben, I guess. And what does that mean? Uh, that's a good question. I get that question a lot. My name means uh, Naka is an area of Stockholm and Gubben means old man. So I'm the old man from Naka. Does it really? Yes. I thought it meant guy. No. Oh, the sun just... <laughs> what? <laughs> Who, who's the doing The sun that? just happened and yeah. then... Oh, it, it's you. Or... Whoa. Oh, that's spooky. Have we got to go? <laughs> There's a ghost. So there's not a ghost. No. So I have a, a challenge here for you, Ross. Okay. Uh, since I'm from Sweden, which you might know or notice from my accent. So I have a couple of uh, Swedish words that we are gonna try today here. Um, I have a list of 10 Swedish words. And for each word that you manage to say, mm -hmm. you get one point. If you manage to translate it, you get another point. So I like the fact you didn't say say correctly. No. It's just say. You say, yes. So if I manage to make a noise, yes. I get one point. Yes, because we're a nice bunch of people here in Sweden. I'm gonna start off easy uh, on you with the first word. So the first word, I, I presume you say bank. Yeah, that's a good one. Bank. Yes, bank. that's correct. So what does bank mean then? <sighs> um, it's a pretty short word. It is a pretty short word and it very much resembles the English word bank. But it also resembles another word which it actually means. Bench? Yes! Is it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my that's god. Good. That's a good guess. Wow. It's bench. Bench. Two points. Yes. Next word is... Polka. Yes. So again, it resembles the English word polka or for polka dot. Like polka. Like, you know, if you have polka dots. Or a dance. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Or, or the candy polka. I'm guessing it's none of those. And no, it's not right. even close. I'm... I, I can give you a hint. This word actually comes from Finnish. Oh, I've helps. mentioned this word in a video of oh, mine. So this is like a, a test of loyalty yes. to see if I've been yes. paying attention. Yes. I'm gonna fail this one, I think. I'm gonna say... What do Finns do a lot? I don't know what Finns do. I don't know if they do this a lot, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Finns do. I'm gonna go with flute. It's a flute? No. <laughs> it's a sledge. You go down oh, a mountain on a pulka. Okay. I, I wrote a lot of pulka back in my days. <laughs> <laughs> you could also go schettlapp. That's a smaller thing that you put between your legs. Meets uh, ass patch. <laughs> it actually does. Ass patch. Next word. Uh, Vari. Yes. By the way, you got one point for the last Oh, point. so I've got so you three. Have three. You have three okay. points, and now you have four because you pronounced that correctly. I think this means wolf. It does. Five points. Yes. That's that really nice. good. Wolf is uh, my favorite animal, in Ooh. case you're interested. Ooh. It's very elegant. There's a lot of wolves in Sweden. Next word. I'm going to go for Sherlock. Is this word broken into two parts? It, you could. You could. Uh, because isn't... Um, so liek means to play. Yes. And doesn't shell something mean love? Is that Shar means love, yes. So love play. Love play. Getting close. Is it on those lines? Y well, it doesn't mean... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so easy. If I just ask you questions, will you just give me the answer? Yes. <laughs> Is that how it playful. Is it playful? No. <laughs> <laughs> it means love. Oh, that just means love. Love play means love. You got one point for that. Six points. You're very good at um, remembering. This one. Poor Forgel. Yeah. So I know Forgel is bird. Yes. I've got to work out what type of bird it is. <laughs> on bird. <laughs> it actually means on bird. <laughs> if you literally translate it. But okay. that's not what it is. On bird. Eagle? No, that's urn. It's a peacock. So seven points. Next word. Uh, et soppa. Ert soppa. Yes. Yes, at choppa. If you say it quickly, it's at choppa. Okay, at choppa. Yeah, okay, half, half a point. Yeah. Seven, or, seven and a half. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Soppa means soup. Yes, atta is a type of vegetable. A green one, round. Green round vegetable. Should this be too many more of lettuce? <laughs> pea soup. Pea soup. Peacock, pea soup. Yeah, there's a lot of pea in. Here's, now it's, the difficulty is increasing here because th these are hard. <laughs> God. Well, so, you have a word here. It's two words put together, uh, as you can see. Pogoende. Yes. Pogoende? Yeah, pogoende, yeah. So, eight and a half, I guess. You have two words, yeah. Po. Po and guende. Yeah. So, on. On. <laughs> I don't know what guende means. But if you shorten that to... Go. Yeah. So on go, on going? Yes, it's good, really? yes. 
Nice. I think you have nine and a half now. Okay, so this one I had to actually look up the translation mm -hmm. for in English because I, but it turns out I know the English word for this. Well one. done, well done to you. I don't know if many Swedes know this. Undermålig. Yes, that's good. And yet again, there's two words. And under, under means under. Yes. Målig. It means goal. Oh, I do know that. Yeah, okay. Is it a, is it a verb? Is it a noun? Y yes, it's a adjective. <laughs> is it a verb? Is it a noun? <laughs> yes, it's an adjective. I'm positive. Okay, always. under goal, under goal, underachieving. Ish. Not good enough. I don't know. Yeah, it's not, not good, good enough. enough. Poor. I guess you get a half a point for that. Mm. So nine. I, I don't know. Very... No, I think we're at nine and a half. Yeah, maybe nine and a half. So ten. Ten. You're the maths I'll teacher here, so I think this is the <laughs> next, uh, second last word. So. Okay. Do you know the English word for second last? No. Do you want to learn it? Yes. It's penultimate. 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 So ultimate being the final. All right. So and then penultimate being the penultimate. one before. This word, <laughs> uh, utom stoen, stoende. Yes. Utom stoende. So, again, two words. And I don't know what. So store yeah. means to stay. No, to stand. Yes. So it's, wait, it was on, so standing. Yes. So it's outstanding? Yes. Good. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> you get two points for that. Like a detective. You're like a detective. Ooh. So the final word, and I guess the hardest word. Okay, so. I think I know what this means. Oh. I think uh, first, I... pronounce. Flagstones nops for yilla. Yilla re. Almost. Flags. We pronounce that letter. Flagstones knops for yilla. Yilla re. Yes. Flagstones knops for you, letter. Of course, yeah. I think. And this is a legit, legit word. By yeah. The way. So I think a student at school taught me this. Yes. So I think flagstone is a flagpole. Yes. I think the knop is the little bit on top of it. Yes. And then the feuillier is like a spray to clean it or something. Yeah. So the whole thing is a gold enhancement. I don't know. <laughs> spray to enhance the gold of the knob of... The knop. The, yes, the knop of the flagpole. So that meant I had... Um, 12 points. 12 points. Yeah, 12 well, points. There or thereabouts. Out of 20, that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. Right. Thank you, you that should, was good. You <laughs> so hopefully you learned something as well. If you haven't already, go and check out Naka Gubin's channel. You're very into kind of language, right? I guess. I don't know. And <laughs> trying to offend the Finnish, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, or not to, but I tend to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you go check out his channel. Links are everywhere you expect them to be. Go and buy a hat uh, <laughs> if you would like. That would um, be awesome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.